So today I want to do something a little bit different. Um, it's actually the beginning of a new series of videos where I'm going to take you guys along the process that I go through to produce a series of images. So it's going to follow a new series that I've started, something that I'm looking to produce possibly a book or a zine or exhibit some work from. But basically I'm going to take you through all of my thought processes and how it is that I work to come to a final product. So my projects will always start in different ways, but normally it's an idea that I have that I'll kind of expand on and grow over time. So for this particular one, the idea started with a roll of film that I bought. So the roll of film was something I'd never shot before. It's this, is Rolly Ortho Plus 25. Um, I didn't know much about it, I had never used it before, but I saw a roll in the photographer's gallery and had a little read about it and thought it sounded interesting. And the thing that I found really interesting about it is it was really kind of talked about as this great technical film, this film for kind of technical photography, which is something I hadn't considered much. Um, so I decided to pick a few rolls up and try and do something with them. So the idea I had with this film um, was I wanted to kind of explore this idea of technical photography versus artistic photography and kind of explore what that means to me. So I wanted to look at where that line is drawn um, and I had all these ideas kind of growing but what I wanted to do before anything was get out and actually shoot some of this film. Uh, it could be that I really didn't like it, it could be that it didn't work for what I had in mind, so I thought the first thing to do is produce some images. So I loaded the roll up into this setup. It's a bit of a weird looking one, it's quite clunky, it's quite big, but there's a very good reason for this. So this idea of technical photography, this idea of this 25 speed, very fine grain, very sharp film, um, and use it in more of a kind of abstract artistic way. So I wanted to also match my setup to this idea. So I started off, uh, I was keen to use this camera, this is my Canon EOS 5, and this is a 50mm 1.4 uh, EF lens. I wanted to use this because it's a sharp lens, it's a very nice camera to use, it's very straightforward, it's very intuitive, um, and it just doesn't kind of hold me back. I thought about using my Mamiya 645, I thought about using my Mamiya 6, uh, RB67, but all these options kind of felt like it was going to be quite clunky, it was going to be very slow, I wasn't going to be able to really explore this film the way I wanted to. So I set this up, and the reason for the flash is I really wanted these images to be very brightly, very high key, very kind of stark flash lit. So this is where I wanted to start exploring this idea of technical, very uh, clear reproductions of what I was photographing versus a more kind of abstract interpretation of what I was photographing. And from here, I really just headed out and I took some photos. After shooting and developing this film, um, I'm really happy with the outcome. I think it started to steer me in the right direction. Um, the, the final images are exactly what I kind of hoped for. They're this combination of very, very sharp, very fine grain, very nice technical renditions of these kind of very abstract textures and patterns and scenes. So I think particularly seeing them all lined up, seeing 36 photos all together in a big grid uh, looked amazing. It looked really beautiful. It was very interesting. It was very um, Kind of engaging and this is what started to get me thinking about the next step so it started to get me thinking about how do i want to display this work how do i want it to be seen by someone do i want to incorporate any more images do i want to incorporate kind of larger scale images color images anything else um which is really what the next video is going to be about so this one was about the original idea and how i start to build it and how i start to understand what the idea is the next video will be how i expand on it how i start making it a more kind of whole rounded project um, so I'm going to start working on that and uh, hopefully it will be coming soon, but for now this is kind of my first step that I normally take in a project. It's produce some images, it's start to see how the idea works, start to let it just organically form. Um, so I hope you found this interesting, uh, let me know what you think, let me know how you work on your images, let me know how you kind of develop ideas, and hopefully this inspires you a little bit. Um, so hit subscribe if you want to see the rest of this series, if you want to see more videos from me, and I'll see you next time.